Daisy Ritchie and Al DeBoer are on a mission to make growing food easy, sustainable and fun. Their grow house helps people produce organic food right in the backyard. So we asked ourselves the question, why is it that people aren't getting into producing their own food more uh, at home? And I think the answer lies in there's a fear of failure and there's no real starting point. There's, there's no place to begin when it, when it comes to growing your own food. And that's really what we aim to tackle with the Grow House, offering people a starting point, a very organized, simple space where you have everything that you need at hand to, to grow your own food easily. I'm just going to show you the basic concept of the grow house, which is that this is a closed loop system, so one thing feeds into the next and nothing goes to waste. So for your lifestyle, for at your home, you can, uh, step one is to get rid of your food waste. So we have a simple system here at Wamri, so it's super simple. So I just put my kitchen scraps chopped up finely, bananas, pawpaws and mangoes on top of the worms and that is creating fertility in the grow house which will then be fed back into the soil once it's ready. This is where we can store our saved seeds and our bought seeds and we obviously try to save as many seeds as possible. We then can do our potting um, directly into our trays. We have our potting mix here which is cocoa peat. In it goes with your seed and then if you come along here this is our germination rack and when things are ready to be transplanted we simply take them out of the um, the tray like so and it goes directly into the bed. So the key feature of the grow house that I'm going to highlight is, is the grow bed. This is something that we've designed around the kind of the human ergonomics and it's basically one where you can access it all the way around and easily reach into the center of the bed or any part of the bed and, and manage the crops within it. We fill the, the raised bed with a mixture of slow release and fast release organic compost and that just means that you get a long-term consistent supply of vegetables without having to put too many inputs in there. Another feature of the grow house worth mentioning is the vertical growing wall. It's something that we've designed to fit within the vertical structure of the grow house and it just makes the crops very easy to manage within the growing wall. Everything's at eye level so you can really see, keep an eye on, on things. It's something that is specifically designed for herbs uh, and other plants that would otherwise take over a grow bed. They're all very condensed within it. So here we are a couple of meters off the ground uh, above the, the grow bed. We've got these uh, wire trellises that really make use of, again, the vertical space within the structure. And for crops like this, anocha, tomatoes, cucumbers, kiwis, anything that has a climbing system will, will really do well on these trellises. I had a phone call from a lady the other day who we installed a grow house for and she was so happy and excited because the grow house has really enabled her to grow her own food and previously she'd always been so disheartened with growing in her garden, everything was disorganised all over the place and this space has offered her an organised unit where she has her water, she has potting mix, she's got vertical growing walls and she's really refound her love for growing food. <laughs>